you won't find wealth sitting on your ass at home. I like that. That's better than all the Asian proverbs. I, I need to look up some more African proverbs. I like that. Um, so, so, you know, fast forwarding, obviously you kind of find your, your, your voice in leading people and being the regional manager and being able to motivate people and started your own business. And like, you, you really found your stride leading other people and motivating. How does yeah. that become the full-time job? You know, the beautiful curated website you have, the corporate speaking gigs, the, yeah. the coaching programs, the videos. I, I watched some of your stuff in preparation of this call. It's like, wh where is the evolution from I'm a regional manager at, you know, a subsidiary of Walmart to like, no, mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have the confidence to go on my own and travel mm -hmm. the world being a public speaker and a trainer and a, a corporate ambassador. Like, how, how does that happen? Other than your shirt saying, be different. You know, that clearly, clearly that's your mantra for your whole life. But how do you yeah, make that? How do you make that jump? Like, how's that next stage become? Yeah. You know, um, I define faith as the ability to believe in things that don't exist as yet. Okay. Um, uh, the Bible is one of the greatest books that I read time to time. It says that there's power of life and death in our tongue. And if we, ha if we have the tongue, we should then use it to speak things to existence as though they were. Okay. Now, Scott, it says also that where there's lack of vision, people perish. Okay. Now, now in, in the new translation, it says that where there's absence of vision, people do not flourish, okay? Now, if you ask me, what was the jump and how was it like? Now, I have to be vulnerable here. I have to tell you the truth that, not because today I'm doing what I'm doing, that when, 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 when I, I reached that four-way stop, when after everything I've worked for for the five, six years, 12, 15 hours a day, sometimes, I mean, I mean when I was in corporate, uh, 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 Scott, my colleagues would make fun of me that, hey, man, like, you got to have to give up, give up your apartment because you're never there because I'm always traveling. I'm always on the grind. Okay, I come back, all I do is sleep. I mean, sleep for two hours, shower, and off I go again, traveling across the country, across the southern area, doing what I have to do. Okay, hungry like more than ever. So after putting so much work and trying to build up a company and everything came crashing down and I was back to square zero, what I had to do, the first thing I had to do, Scott, was very simple, was to go back to the law of faith, which is believing in things that don't exist as yet, which, which was to go back to the law of vision, where he says that where there's no vision, people do not achieve, was to go back to the Lord that said that we must speak life into our lives with our tongue with which we should call things to existence as though they were. So that's what I did. When I looked at it, I was like, you know what? Look, I believe that everybody has a gift. Okay, Dr. Mars Monroe, he says that we are all born to be leaders, but not leaders of people necessarily, but first of all, leaders of our own area of gifting. And to our purpose or our calling is attached to the tool that we're supposed to bring that calling to life with. And that tool is our gift. So, so I decided to tap into my gift. I decided to, to use my gift, which is the one of speaking, to build the business out of it. But here's the thing. <laughs> I had no point of reference, Scott. Okay? Like, there's no speaker in my family. The last time I was speaking to my nephew, he was like, hey, you know, I uncle, when I grew up, I want to be a speaker. I'm like, okay, cool. I mean, when, when I was your age, when I tell that to my dad, I want to be a speaker, he probably, he probably would have slapped me or something. Okay? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like hey, boy, wake up. Like, who would have had put that in your, in your head? Like, take me there. I, I, I want to smack that person. Okay. So, so I couldn't have told that. There was no point of reference. Okay. And I tell, I tell about that in my book, How to Be an, un, an Unforgettable Orator, which, which I'm going to give you the link, Scott. You can give it to your people for free. They can download that. That okay. I had no point of reference. And therefore, when I landed in Singapore, trying to do my thing in Southeast Asia, I spent nine months in business without a single client. Okay? <laughs> nine, nine good months, Scott. Like just doubling. I, 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 had to, I had to teach English lessons. I had to do this, do any kind of thing just to keep my business going. Okay? So, so I mean, I'm not going to sit here and act all rosy and, and, and do the big talk. No, there's not it. It took the grind. It took the persistence. I mean, I could have given up six months down the line or three months down the line that I look, look, just this, just this, just 
just just doesn't work okay right. there's no point of reference for me to go to but i i did you know what one of my best friends quote me for i close the door and work when you know that you don't have what it takes what you've got to do is zone out okay get into your zone all right forget about everything and study 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 work 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 okay that's what i did i mean that's why today I talk about some people like, and I hope to meet them one day to be listening to me right now, people like Les Brown and T.D. Jakes. Now, what I did was I studied these people very, very closely, okay? I looked at their speeches over and over again. How do they craft the story? How do they put in a quote? How do they stand on stage? Because I knew that I didn't have a 10 or $15,000 to go to any seminar, or any workshop to learn how to speak or how, learn how to coach. Okay. And I went back to my foundation. How do people transform? What happens? You know, so I, man, come on. If we come to where I am right now, I'm living here temporary, but I've got a library of more than 66 books that I've read in the past three months. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so I'm saying that if you ask me how I was able to do that, it's by working, ladies and gentlemen, it's by putting in the work. And again, believing, believing that if you believe it, you don't have to see it to believe, but you have to believe it so that you can see it. That is my word, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> yeah.